welcome to Wind Creativity Knox. We are here with the lovely designer and friend, Ann Butler. How are you? I'm good. And Ann's going to be showing us a really wonderful project today. Tell us a little bit about it. We're going to take an old pair this. of tennis shoes and recycle them and make them one of a kind. Make them your own. Okay, so these are not new shoes. They're old. They're recycled. Right? Yes, recycle, they are. reuse. Old white tennis shoes that you can't get clean in the washing machine anymore. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. well, you clean these, right? Oh, but then they get all yellow and gross, and it just looks like you stepped in something funny. So go ahead. This is true. <laughs> so I know we've got this great new method of coming up with the paints with Earth State finishes. So why don't you tell us a little bit how you mix the paint to do the painting? Okay, Earth State finishes has these beautiful gel mediums, and they come pre-mixed, but you can make your own by using the gel medium in the white. And it's just yeah. like a base. Yep, it's the base, and you can just mix it out on a palette. Do just, you need to move that for you? Thank you. Sure. Just put some out on the palette. Okay. And to get the shimmering effects, they have these beautiful powders. And they don't come in all different colors. What are they too? called? Polymers? Powders. Oh, powders. powders. <laughs> I was like, what's polymer? Shimmer powders. No, shimmer powders. And um, Glitter. it comes in all different colors, but we're just going to use pearl today because it'll just give it the iridescent effect uh -huh. in okay. your paint sorry, that you're you using. And you can just How much are you putting in there? Just, a, just like, about a teaspoon. A teaspoon? Oh, yeah. that is a tablespoon. I'm no, just no, no, no. <laughs> so you could actually, I, I think, probably would take out my teaspoon and actually measure it. You could, you yeah. Know, just to be on the safe side. You want to yep, get all that, That's better. I kind of have all things. And then I'm using rose coloring today. And, and these are just their pigment dyes, yep, right? So and you it, can create your own? Yep, it comes in with an eyedropper, and you only need... That's it. Just a tiny, tiny yeah, drop. Yeah, because I was going to say, I know we've that's used Earthsea finishes before, and with their pigments, less is more. It, that's what's so great is this product not only is better for you because it's not made with VOCs, but you're going to get longevity out of it because, as you can tell, oh, the, a tiny bit goes a really a drop long way. Of this, you're going to have this bottle, like, forever. Forever. And look, look at the color. It's phenomenal. It's beautiful. Ooh. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the great thing is, is, too, you're really making it a custom color, so you can, mm -hmm. like, name it Megan. Yes, this if you wanted it. to. This hey. is Megan's Just hot throwing some ideas out there. Yep, that's what pretty, we call it. Pretty pink Megan. So all you have to do, <laughs> it, if you wanted a lighter pink, you can add some more gel medium. Okay. Yeah, but I like that one. Okay. So then you're going, and this is all water soluble. I mean, it won't, it's permanent once you put it on the canvas is what I'm saying. Yep, you want okay. to let it dry and heat set it. Okay. And then it's washable. But And that's the great thing with Earth Safe Finishes. It's good for any surface. Thank so you, you can do it not only on this canvas or a cotton or any kind of fabric, but you can also do it on plastic, my ceramic. Shirt, my shirt so, was done with color. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, that's cute. So, I was with that girl. Where'd you get that? Want, Megan, let's let her show us how I'm to I'm sorry. Paint I just get so excited. so excited. We were working on okay. this. It's so fun. So this is the old tennis shoe, and they're just white old tennis shoes took and colored it or painted it with the pink and you just paint. I didn't ta I didn't tape go. anything off. I just painted. Just go crazy with it. Yep. You know, you could, is the rubber, you could just kind of wipe the paint can, off if it gets yep, on it. Yep, you can wipe it off if it goes on there. So you're just going to paint the whole tennis shoe. Okay. Except the rubber. And it will and look like that when it's done. the great part about this is kids could do this. Kids can do this. It'd be a great project to do with kids. Okay. But obviously anytime you're using paint, you should be doing it with parent supervision. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm serious because I learned that the hard way. Yeah, the crayon on the walls. I got it. Okay. I've been creative since birth. So what we're going to do some stamping on the, the yep. shoes now. After it's all done. And I, these are just like these stamps. kids uh, fun. fun that, yeah, that you can find in any craft store and just make your own stamps using plastic bottles or whatever. And so we're going to, I think we get to teamwork this. I'm so we're excited. Gonna, we're going to do it together. Yes, we are. Yay. I mean, like, what's my purpose then? To, just leave me out. You just look beautiful, you know, girls. pretty and I'm one, gonna, Here, I'm going to let you stand no, the first fine. stamp. And, and one of the, the little hints that we were talking about early, because my go. background's okay. all in stamping, <laughs> it's patting the paint on Now, remember here? Yeah, when the you put foam. it on, Hold it. So it. you're going to just pat the paint. I mean, now I'm really stressed out. No. Oh, Megan's doing that. Okay. And just kind of work it. I don't want to smear That's it. That's enough, honey. You're good. Lift up. Oh, perfect. Ooh. Wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Show the camera. It had a little of the blue on it. Scott, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> so as I was saying, you're going to take the paint and you're going to actually pat the paint. Mm -hmm. So that kind of brings the paint up to the surface a little bit. And then, now it's my turn. Now it's so your excited. turn. Okay. 
Let's see, she do that over want. there. So I'm going to take our little peace sign, and I'm using my hand as leverage underneath. Yep. And just rocking it back and forth. Yeah, just rocking it back and forth, yeah. Making sure I'm getting all the, yep. the pushing all the little parts down. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh. There you go. That looks awful. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Megan. I'm just teasing. Thanks, Mom. You just are jealous because mine looks better than yours. Whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. No, nope, it's okay. So you're going to want to stamp it all up as much as you okay. want. You can put some rhinestones, rhinestones on the top now, to what do glam you suggest, it up. What do you suggest to do with the rhinestones? These are sticky self-adhesive rhinestones, but I would still use just a little bit of tacky glue because make sure. if you're going to put it through the washing okay. machine, oh, for then they'll stay sure. on. For yeah. sure. So I would okay. use that. Yep. Great. And look how fun it just, I love it, blings it up. It Stop. does, doesn't you it? You sound so <laughs> stupid when you do that. So if you make any mistakes in your stamping, you can use some of the appliques. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right over the stamping. Why well, you got to point out my heart? I know. What are you trying to say? It was just that little blue oh, part. All right, I get See, it. You know, we could just kind of put the flower going right across it. there. <laughs> okay, cover it up. It's real cute, Ann. <laughs> and then we we took um, this big this butterfly applique and just cut it right down the middle. Poor little guy. Ah! Oh, he's okay. And we're gonna glue half of it and on you're just using one the, side. The glue? Yep. And half on, on the, the other. other side. Okay. And then we're going to use. Uh, I can put it on there real quick. Okay. So we have them, like, as you can see right here, half on this side and half on the other side. So when you look at it straight on, I have a question. The butterfly flying. Yes. How do you lace up the shoe? You don't. Oh. These didn't come They're with like, laces, actually. These are like slides, honey. Oh. Just kidding. So don't lace up your shoe. Well, if you wanted to, you could still go in a couple of holes. Okay, so let's show the, just show the camera how that went on there. And, and Anne had this great suggestion of using clothespins to hold the items on while they're drying, which I thought was a fabulous tip. Yeah, because... Sorry. No, totally. And then you have just some fun, funky, rickrack, shiny... That's sequins. not rickrack. Sequins. Sequin. I know what rickrack is. <laughs> You're learning, aren't you? See, and this is your fault because you're the one who taught me that. So <laughs> you ain't got no one to blame but yourself, Anna. Continue. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, you now Anne's going to put this right along the edge. And I do. I like, and here again, the tip for the day is using the clothespins to hold it on. Yep. You would want to use some clothespins. Or you probably could even use those bullnose paper clips yep. too, huh? Those would work well also. Because the tacky glue sets up quickly, but it's going to pull away if you're not yeah, so oh, cute. Get the holding idea. it. So that's really it in a nutshell. Yeah. So you just I'll let finish you show them. some more because I've had too much fun showing it. <laughs> so it has a lot of appliques and embellishments, and you can do whatever you want to make so them your own. So you can get colorant already to, or the pre-mix pre -mix. you can pre-mix or mix your own or you yep. mix your own and I love this mixing your own because how fun you make all your own well, colors it makes it even more unique yep well Anne thanks so much for your great idea Thank I you. won't be wearing them because unfortunately these are not my size but no. my friend Danny will wear them <laughs> <laughs> well you know what we always we say could leave them well we could we could leave them but <laughs> instead I'm going to take them. So you know what we always say when creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door.